name is Wes Hill. I'm uh, currently captain on the New Horizon. We're headed out uh, to the North Pacific Gyre to investigate the plastic vortex. Well, my job, my uh, as master of, or captain of this vessel, my primary responsibility is the safety of the ship and the people on board. And then a close second is the successful accomplishment of the scientific mission and to help with the chief scientists and the other scientists in fulfilling their goals as best as possible. Garbage, yeah. Well, that is the main fun. We are going out to investigate garbage, which I guess largely comes from ships, but also from land. But when I first started going to sea as a cadet back in the mid 80s, everything was dumped over the side, without exception. Um, there just was no other option. I mean, I first thought it was pretty disgusting, but you're on a ship, you just, there's no other option. You have to do something with the garbage. A ship generates a lot of garbage, and a lot of it's mixed up. And over the years, um, we've gotten much better at it. Uh, I think we do a very good job at separating plastic, but the big issues come when we get new science parties coming on. Every couple weeks or every couple months, we have a new group of scientists on board. And I really try to emphasize, and I feel very strongly that scientists are the ones that alerted us to the dangers of plastic in the oceans, um, got the international rules in place that have been ratified by most countries around the world. Um, and so I feel very strongly that when scientists come on board, they should be the easiest ones to get to start separating plastic. And sometimes it's a struggle because they discover when they're home, they don't have to separate plastic. And we separate every piece of plastic the best we can. I like to think we're almost 99% plastic free when we dump our garbage, which we still do dump other garbage, that is international rules, and there really isn't anything else to do with it other than try to find ways to minimize the garbage that is on a ship, that a ship generates. But um, that's how it stands now, and I think we do a good job at it. We still try to minimize how much we dump, but like I said earlier, it is a ship at sea with, in this case, we have 29 people on board on a three-week trip, does generate trash. You need to have food protected, you need to have plastic um, and other forms of trash on board. That's just part of modern society. But to minimize and to reduce and just keep degradable items going into the ocean for now is best. Hopefully someday better solutions are come up with. But keeping plastic out of the oceans is, I think, the most important thing because it can last forever. I have seen some very disgusting bits of plastic in the ocean, particularly off Asia, the current that flows north um, along Japan and Taiwan and the Philippines. It is like a sea of garbage just flowing up. It can be almost a half a mile to a mile wide, just a sea of garbage flowing. And where it goes, who knows, maybe that's what we're going to find out this trip. It's out here. It goes somewhere. It doesn't sink. Animals eat it. It's there forever. Thank <laughs> you.